Hi guys. Now, boy, do I have a treat for you guys today. I finally got my Elgato video game recorder, and I had an opportunity to record an online ranked match game today. I am USC, and I am playing against an opponent playing the Missouri Tiger. Now, since the last time that I uploaded my game against Virginia Tech, I played three unrecorded games, and I went one and two in those three games. So now my overall record is five and two, and I think this guy, something like five and four. And boom, right off the bat, I get a touchdown. Now, I'm very lucky because this guy, he was playing me uh, cover two man, but for some reason he decided to switch it up at that one moment, and I got a touchdown. And here I go for two again, and boom, Robert Woods. On that blind slant, as I talked about in my last video, where I just throw the ball without even looking to see if it's open, and it works. So I'm up 8-0 right now. Okay, so he takes a handoff on first down, very nice game. And I wasn't too sure about uh, Missouri's roster overall, so I didn't know if they had a running quarterback or not. So, I was thinking about putting in a spy at first, but eventually I took the spy away when this guy went to more uh, traditional runs and traditional passes. But in the beginning, I think I had a spy on for quite a few of the plays. Especially since the previous game I just played against Ohio State. And as you guys probably know, Braxton Miller is a great running quarterback. And the guy basically tried to run every single time with Braxton Miller. Well, first he checks to see if it's open, and then he runs. So here, very nice inside handoff again, third and two. Overall, I think this was a definitely better player than the guy I played against last time. Um, this guy, he's very good at switching up the plays. And he's also very good at uh, finding his receivers, regardless of what type of coverage I was playing. Whether I was covering... Whether I was playing cover 3 or whether I was playing uh, man, he was able to find his receivers. Like right there. Like I thought he was going to go to the guy under, uh, over the middle, like straight up the middle, and he goes outside and it worked really well. Right here, zone read. I'm very lucky that I was able to stop him for one yard because I was completely full. Ooh, and very, very, very close there. I thought he had that jump ball for sure, but now it brings up a third and nine. I think he's already in field goal range. And third and nine, he drops back to pass. Nice crossing route there. He doesn't get it all the way. It does a fourth and four, and he kicks the field goal. So now it's eight to three. So now you guys can see here, he plays me very tight man and basically forces me to scramble. Luckily, I was able to get... Uh, six yards on that scramble. So this guy definitely likes to switch it up. So I was thinking if he plays me man, I'm going to uh, go with a uh, bunch formation to try to break that up. And no, it doesn't work. He's still sticking to me like glue. And I forced the scramble again. I was trying to throw it away at the very last moment. And he got me. So third and 14. Definitely not looking good. And man again. I was like, uh-oh. I tried to throw desperately anyway. I don't think I would have got the first down even if he caught it. But he didn't, so 4th and 14, I had to punt the ball. So he gets the ball around the 35 yard line. Nice screen pass. And he, he was able to hurt me with these screen passes all day. This opponent has some nice screen passes. Like, even on like a straight up cover 3, like all my linemen were rushing to him like crazy. And I guess he was kind of counting on that. So here he goes with a zone read, and I stop him. So 2nd and 12. I think he's going to go for a pass. Let's see what happens. Yep, he drops back to pass. Very nice pass to the outside. I think I had a cover three on. Very nice. First and ten. Zone read again. And luckily I stop him again. So his zone reads haven't worked out very well. I think he probably averaged negative yards throughout the game on zone reads. A nice pass over the middle on second and twelve. To get first and goal. And I think I come with a little bit of blitz here. Yep, I do. I kind of figured he was going to run there, given his formation, and I was able to stop him well behind the yard, uh, well behind the line scrimmage. Second and goal. Nice pass out wide. I think if his receiver didn't lose balance a little bit, he could have gained a lot more. And now we got third and goal. I think I played a man coverage here, and he still beats it for fourth and goal. And given that it's like inside the one yard line, he decides to go for it fourth and goal. 
and he face snaps twice and ends up getting a false start on himself. Wow. And he ends up having to kick a field goal. Wow. That was a huge play. If he could have gotten a touchdown, that this game would be much, much more different. Now he plays me man coverage again, and I was very lucky that I was not picked. Going back to that fourth down play, I don't think he really needed to go for a fake snap because we're on the half yard line anyway. I mean, there isn't really much else I'm going to do except to just rush up the middle. Like, there's no point for him to draw me offside, basically. If he gets a penalty for me going offside, that's like less than half a yard. Here, same play to Florini. Very lucky. I think he got a little bit more separation than he did last time, and I was able to safely complete that pass with the stick. He's playing cover two man again, but somehow was able to break through the middle with Marcus Lee. Here, I try to switch it up a little bit and go with the eye formation pass. And instead, I think I, uh, I audible to a run, trying to throw him off balance a little, and I got six yards. Very nice. Yeah, I saw that his receivers were. Uh, I saw that his cornerbacks were very close to my receivers in the press coverage on his eye formation. So I think he kind of caught on after I hit him for that two point conversion, and that's why I decided to go with the run. The third and four. This is a critical, uh, critical time in the game. Trying to get a touchdown here. And somehow my audibles didn't work because of lag, and I was forced to do a weird audible here. And very luckily, I was able to hit Marcus Lee for a first down on a route that I probably would never run. And bam, right there, I'd go with the eye formation slant. For some reason that time, he didn't play press on Marcus Lee on the slant. And here I go for two again, and the receiver drops it. Wow, I think this is probably the first two-point conversion that I failed in a while. And I just have to say, nice hit. And here, boom, fumble. Wow, with 39 seconds left, if I, if I could have picked that up, like I could have just completely dominated the game. But no, uh, the opponent was very lucky. He picked up his own fumble, and he hits a deep pass here. With 19 seconds left, he's definitely in striking distance. He only needs about 20 more yards to get a field goal. And another deep pass. I was thinking about picking this off. I was hoping I could pick it off, and I didn't. Second time, feeling good at this point because he only has 14 seconds left. So I go with the prevent, and unfortunately, the prevent prevented me from winning. Exactly, like in real life. Boom! The guy he hits it for 20 yards, and now he's in field goal range. And I think he's basically running one more play. And I sense that I was like, okay, one more play, field goal. You're already in field goal range, so I'm just gonna take away the touchdown. And I do, and he ends up getting an easier field.